Hi everyone, my name is Kyle and this is the lady who has yet to be named. We are here to say hello and welcome to Friday. It is Friday, September 16th, 2022, and it's time for us to talk about the stuff in today's newsletter. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the cowl that uh, is here on our dress form. Um, it is called Cowloween clever name by Stephanie Lotvin. It uses a yarn called Gisa and Flow, which is a 100% um, ultrafine merino that comes in little 25 gram balls and it's perfect for this cowl. So um, I'm gonna move her out of the way, give you an idea of how this is constructed. So it is worked seamlessly. We'll show the, the back part first. So here is the back and if I flip it over and show you the inside, of course, there's some floats and things, but there's no seam, it's seamless. So it is worked in the round, um, and the majority of the project is uh, these simple stockinette stripes, and it's got a few little fun patterns, and then, ah, some scary ghosts and some pumpkins, which are super adorable. So uh, it uses um, five different colors of yarn, and the, uh, like I said, the, the yarn is Gisa and Flow, and the reason that this yarn comes in these um, smaller amounts is it is intended for like kids' projects or smaller children's projects, that kind of thing. So there is our, our little cowl, right? There we go. Super cute. Um, comes in, it, uh, what am I trying to say? Five colors are being used. You're gonna get two balls of the orange. So here's the orange color. Oh, and here's uh, here are Gisa and Flo. So it's the grandkids of, um, of Zetron, who the, the yarn is named after. So here's the orange, you get two balls of this, you're gonna get two balls of the cream, and then one ball of each of these. So here's the black, very exciting black. Here is sort of a purpley lilac-y color, and then this sort of teal. So three different, uh, these three different accent colors also are built into the project. So also in the kit, yes, it's a kit, so you're getting seven balls of yarn, you're getting the pattern, um, which uh, if you give us your Ravelry ID, your name, your handle, um, we will add the pattern to your Ravelry library. If you don't provide that um, in your order, then we're gonna just send the pattern digitally to the email address that is provided when we purchase it for you. Um, we also, of course, print a copy and include that in the kit. So you're getting the seven balls of yarn, you're getting the Cowloween pattern by Stephanie Lotvin, and then you're also gonna get this Gazelle um, by Addy Fixed Circular Needle. This is a bamboo needle, it's a size four, um, 20 inch. And so the 20 inch is perfect for this because you're just working sort of in the round. There's some uh, increasing, decreasing types of things going on. Simple stranded color work. If you can read a very simple chart or if you've never tried charts before, this is a great one to begin with because the chart is small. It's just that little, you know, the little tiny motif repeated over and over um, around the piece. So check that out. We have a limited number of these kits. This is a super saver kit. We um, won't, I don't think we're gonna repeat it again this season because we're getting close to Halloween. It's like, I don't know, six weeks or so away. So uh, we want you to be able to get the materials, make this piece and have it um, completed in time for you to wear it to, you know, holiday, holiday parties or maybe it's something you wanna wear to work, that kind of thing, or just out and about or when you're giving candy away to people. So uh, that is the Cowloween Cowl Kit. And um, again, if it does happen to not show up when you search for it or click on the links in the newsletter, that means that it has sold out. But um, right now there's a bunch of them. So grab them while you can. The second thing I wanna to talk to you about is something from Addy. So this is the Scassel by Addy Calibro, Addy Calibro. They are wooden um, needle gauges and you're gonna get two in a set. So each set has two different um, gauges. So we'll look at the one that's sort of shaped, sock shaped first. So you see these little ones that look a little bit like houses, looks like a bunch of houses. Those are the gauge spots for the um, Scassel rocket square needles. So you'll take that square needle, you know, and it's sort of square shaped and you'll try to fit it into the roof of the house. And if it 
gets in there and it fills the entire attic, that top little triangle, that's the size that needle is. Um, there's some smaller houses down here. Maybe those are condos, I don't know. And then of course the small uh, to very large um, circular sizes for all of the, the bamboos and the rockets and all of the, um, all of the olive woods, all of the other round needles that you'd wanna um, be able to measure. Now, all of these measurements are very accurate because they are done in millimeters. As you know, millimeters are the only accurate measurement for um, knitting needles. The US sizes are approximate from one company to another, so they're a little bit different. But millimeters are always the same. It's a very uh, specific measurement. So we know that if something is a four millimeter, we know it's four millimeters across. Um, so check this out. There are, like I said, two. Here's the second one. This also has a ruler on it that um, has inches and uh, centimeters. So you can, is it centimeters? Millimeters. Centimeters, centimeters and inches, it says so up at the top. And uh, so that's really cool. Both of them come in the, uh, in the box. Now, if for some reason you're like me and you really, really rely on those, um, those US measurements, you can always look at the measurement on here, use a handy chart, uh, and on the other side, you could write the uh, US equivalent um, next to each of these, um, each of the different holes. So you could, you know, know that this one right here is a size, um, you know, seven or whatever it is. So check those out. That's the Addy Calibro um, new gauge sets. They are in stock and ready to go. Um, next, we're going to talk about designer knits. So this is a book that's by um, Sarah Hatton and Martin Story. There are 22 different patterns in here uh, for different people, men or women or whoever wants to wear them. And uh, they are, of course, Martin has some amazing, uh, you know, design chops. We love Martin's work, especially the cables and things. And Sarah is also um, a really well-known designer and author. She's written books like um, The Knit Generation and Knitted Scarves and Shrugs and that kind of thing. Uh, there's others in here. Let's see if I can find. Here's a whole bunch. Here's a bunch of pictures of the pictures of the sweaters for him. So there's vests and sweaters and cardigans and all kinds of stuff. So you can check that out. We have a couple copies of designer knits in stock, again, ready for you um, to add to your library. The next thing we'll talk about, we mentioned Halloween is coming. So of course, I'm going to talk a little bit about my x-ray bags, my bags, because they are my hands. But these are, this is the x-ray knits bag um, from Makers. Of course, we designed this, printed the fabric, sewed it in our studio. And I took um, some old steel knitting needles to a office that has a x-ray machine. I'm not going to say exactly where because, you know, um, I don't know if it was, it wasn't really a medical reason. And then um, we x-rayed my hands, holding it, holding the needles in sort of an odd fashion because I really wanted to try to get those, um, the different bones to show up. And I think they did pretty well. We had to use steel because steel shows up in an x-ray, but if we used wooden needles, the wood doesn't show up. So, um, which I'm sure that makes it really difficult to find, you know, the location of an injury or something if someone gets impaled with something that's wood. Um, steel stuff shows right up. On the other side of this zippy bag, we have some uh, you know, fun little doctor's note information and a return address, which is our um, where our brick and mortar used to be located. And it's supposed to look a little bit like a, um, a film envelope. So that's the black and white, the sort of retro officially version. If you like something a little more colorful and fun, uh, sort of Warhol-esque, here is a vertical version that has colorized images of, the, um, of that same x-ray, which is kind of fun. This has a rainbow zipper. The first one had a, a black zipper. This has a rainbow zipper. And inside, of course, it is white. This one's a little bit deeper. So um, if you like that, or this one is a horizontal orientation, a little more shallow. Or there's also a drawstring. So here's the drawstring version. Very similar, of course, the colorful version here. It has a little you know, x-ray film enclosed on the inside label. The other has our makers. Um, web address and of course it's a drawstring closure. This has a little gusset on it, just a small gusset to add a little extra room. And down at the very bottom, 
um, it has the do not bend, which I thought was really funny because it's fabric and it doesn't matter if it bends. So that is, um, those are the x-ray knits bags that are available. Those are all in our, um, in our, on our website ready to go as well. The drawstring one is more of a velvety fabric. These other two are more of a canvas fabric. So the zippery ones are sort of canvassy. This is sort of velvet. The last thing that I'll mention, I mentioned it at the beginning, our lady needs a name. So we are doing a contest. You can sign up using the link in the newsletter, um, enter your name and your email address and what name you think we should use for our lady. And um, enter by the 18th, it's free to enter. You can enter as many times as you want, but make sure you put each of your um, submissions in a separate line when you enter so that we're able to sort and look through them at the end uh, of the submission period. And the winner is going to be announced on Tuesday the 20th. So if you are the lucky one or group of people um, that choose a name, if there are eight people, then eight people will win. Whoever, uh, whatever name we pick, everyone who, you, who suggested that name is going to win a $25 gift card to Makers Mercantile. So that's a fun way to give, <laughs> give our, um, our dress form a name instead of lady. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think that is all that's happening in today's newsletter. If you uh, are interested in something that we haven't uh, covered, you need questions answered, give us a call or send us an email to hello at makersmercantile.com and we are happy, happy, happy to help you however we can. Um, so it's Friday. So have a great weekend. Do something fun and creative for yourself. Reach out to your friends and family. Let them know that you are thinking of them and uh, we'll see you again on Tuesday with uh, more fun things to talk about. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.